Can you can you re-ask that question? Um, okay. My question is, um, mm -hmm. again, maybe I'm the only one who didn't realize this, mm -hmm. but when I think of a series of paintings, I always assumed that they would have all the same colors throughout the paintings, and yours don't. Yeah, this is great. So. Great, so I want to tell you about this series from my perspective. And you're right, they don't all have the same color. In fact, you know, there's more I'm going to be working on and they're all very different. And the idea for me behind this is that I like to play and I love to play and I want to give myself the freedom to play. And so what I'm doing with each one of these paintings is I'm creating an abstract background that will lend itself to a focal point and take one of my yoga girls doing a yoga position. And so, honestly, you know, if I was thinking about this yoga course where if I look at the manual, one of the first pages is all about the chakras, the energy centers of the body, which are all different colors. They're all represented by different colors. It gives me a huge leeway within the theme of this body of work because there's that, um, and I'm probably going to get it wrong, so if I get it wrong, forgive me. But let's pretend that, you know, the throat chakra is, say, turquoise, and I think the red chakra down here, um, survival and reproduction is red and this one's I think this is turquoise so for me in terms of what this series is about in terms of yoga and energy and exploration it lends itself to it being lots of different colors in within within the series of the work does that kind of answer mm -hmm. yeah um, that's a, a good segment